Would you say Mourinho is a good coach for Bayern? For, actually, okay, like, like no, no, no. But, but, but. Next, Ronaldo. Calm down, guys. I need a lucky punch, first round, first yeah, throw. Yeah. All that and more coming up in the next few minutes as myself and Nico go through some of your questions. Not all of them. Someone complained. Someone said, don't say we answer all your questions. Well, he's right, Because you only we answer don't. some. But there are also some questions that don't deserve an answer. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> some sensible questions, please. Right, kick us off, Nico. Emanuela de Sage XII. 12. Is that a 12? Yeah. That is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is Aubameyang the best fit to be Arsenal captain? Um, <clears throat> Aubameyang is a pretty good fit. He's not your stereotypical captain, but he's something different to what Xhaka was. Aubameyang's like one who does by example. Where he doesn't... Aubameyang's not the kind of guy to sort of show it with uh, like physicality and like passion in his face. He's just gonna go out there and bag the goals like he always does and that's gonna spur the team on. I think it's a good choice, but there's more problems than the captain. That, yeah, I agree. I just, yeah. all I can say is I've seen him at Dortmund most of the time and there were like 25 players in the squad that I would have rather had as a captain than the one. Really? Had. Yeah. No, I, no, I don't think he's too bad. He's experienced as well in, no. you know, in the quite young he, Arsenal squad. I think squad. He, he, like, he grew up, he's, he's grown up a little yeah. bit in the last few years. And the worst bit about it is, is they have older, more professional players who you would assume would be good captains. For like example? Mustafi, like <laughs> David Luiz. <laughs> Mustafi is not older than him though. Mustafi's younger. Okay, well, <laughs> no, 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 but I mean that age, sort yeah. of 27 and above, like experienced international players that like David Luiz is in there as well. Uh, you could even put Hector Bellerin in there, but obviously Xhaka's in there too, Mesut Ozil. And I the fact that none of them are deemed capable of being captain. I would have taken Bellerin. I would have taken Bellerin too. Yeah, let's just... There you go, we'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, next up, Mark the Master. So. Would you say Mourinho is a good coach for Bayern? For, actually, okay, like, like no, 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 but, but, but forget, forget like, like they want a German speaker, forget the shit yeah. with Romanigo and Hoeneß, just on the fact of Mourinho as a coach of Bayern, would he be good? No. Oh. Um, so, I, I, the German media keeps on reporting that he's very interested in a job mm. and everything. Of course he is. I mean, look, it's easy to he's win He's an titles. unemployed man. And, it's, and he, he's gonna win the league. And yeah, like, yeah. That's, that's another title in his back, so that's all good, but, one of the main reasons they sacked Niko Kovac is that Bayern expects to be dominant offensive in every game. They want to score a lot of games, they want to play possession-based football, and that's not really a start. Yeah, yeah, true. It's, it's just not, it's, no, sorry, I can't, can't give him that. Nothing, all right, no. fair enough. <laughs> deep, deep, deep Giotti does. If Arsenal accepts the role of interim manager at Bayern Munich, how far do you think Bayern will go in the Champions League? And do you believe Arsene Wenger would be a good choice as an interim coach at Bayern until summer? An interim coach is literally the complete opposite of, of Wenger's like thing. He's known for youth players and building, you know, teams over long cycles and stuff. So how much Arsene Wenger are you going to get to see in the next seven months? That is true. Like he's 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 not a short-term kind of manager. So, but maybe he enough. could build the base and then give it for Yeah, okay, moment. he could. But he's not going to make drastic changes to change the base. Like, I'm sure if he came in, because he is a good coach, he'd get by into, you know, maybe the semis of the Champions League, the quarterfinals, he'd win the Bundesliga. But there's also a lot of other coaches who could probably do that as well. I'm not sure, I'm not sure Wenger's whole thing is being a seven-month manager. Yeah, I, I, I tend to agree and um, if I would have to bet, if I would mm. have to bet money on anything, I would actually say they keep Flick the interim manager yeah. until the summer. I just until think the it's the most natural way. So next up, Anant Jain has said, do you think that key players now have more power than the manager and can get the manager sacked? Mm. This has uh, a buy in Barca feel to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it depends, I'd say. Mm. If it's just one key player and he has no power in the locker room, nothing's going to happen. Right? If it's just... Okay, it needs to be a group. Yeah, 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 exactly. But Bayern was a group, for example. Not... And look, that was only part of the problem. Mm. It's not that these, like, four or five guys decided, up. Oh, we don't want him anymore. Now we got to get him out. Players are certainly more powerful than they've ever been, yeah. I would say, in football. And I actually think that's a good thing. Um, I mean, in the end, um, they are what draws most money into this yeah, into the sport. That's true. It's, it's not the clubs anymore. Um, even like, partly it is obviously the clubs. Um, so in general, I think in very certain clubs it can happen. But in general, I think the manager mostly has more power, don't you think? Yeah, I think the manager has more power, especially if they got backing from the board. But I also think this isn't anything new. 
You reckon if you ask any ex-pro, they'll tell you about fights between managers and players like yeah. the 90s, the 80s, the 70s, even earlier. It's just the fact that everything is so is brought to light today is much reported, easier yeah, because documented. of reports, social media, everything. You yeah. probably know about it more. Yeah. But I'm saying a fair amount happened back in the day. Maybe there was like a pact between the club, this doesn't get out, or journalists were like, this doesn't get out, or no one could film shit or leak videos or anything like that back yeah. in the day. So yeah. maybe there was still, maybe it's not so different. That's by the way something that happened at Bayern for over a year now. Yeah, Everything all the leaking. Yeah, yeah. was leaked. Everything. That same thing could have happened Bayern in, you know, 50 years ago. Yeah. But just there's no videos to leak. And the thing is that like a player would have, even if they would try to leak something, they'd be like, well, you could have just made it up. Yeah, yeah, but today, it. you're like, here's the email and yeah. I recorded the speech and here's yeah, a picture yeah, exactly. of him pissing at my car. You know, <laughs> it's, 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 it's all possible. That, that's true. <laughs> all right, we got Razif Halim next and he asks you, what is it? There's a few questions from him. Oh yeah. Some really oh, good ones. Okay. Do you think Kia Mape is worth 300 million, I guess, euros at his age? Um... He's definitely the most expensive player in the world because of his potential, because he's only 20. He's only worth however much people are willing to pay, so there's not really any, there's not there's not a calculation to make. That's right. And somebody is probably gonna pay 300 million in the next Look, week. Okay, let's say he's got more potential and is gonna be better than Neymar. So he's gotta be over 222 million euros. I mean, unnecessarily breaking the record by like a couple of hundred to make it 500 would seem a bit bizarre. So yeah, maybe yeah, 300 million. But it's like, yeah, like I said, someone's like, gonna pay it. Uh, mm. One thing though, what do you think, where does he have the most room to improve? For me, I feel like, maybe we, we've seen, the, maybe we, we've seen the full Mbappe already. I don't know. Um, no, but I think he can improve, I think ever so slightly, he'll adapt as he becomes more mature and grows into football. Yeah. There's not an obvious, there isn't an obvious sort of, um, weakness in his game, but you can also always improve on everything. What you're seeing a lot of now in his goals is his acceleration is utterly exactly. ridiculous. And then that on the other hand would mean that it's not going to get better from a certain point. Yeah, it's not going to get better, it's going to go downhill. Like with Cristiano Ronaldo, he's learned to like score goals now without sprinting 40 yards like Mbappe yeah. does. So maybe he'll get clever as he gets older, he'll change his style, but I can't see any improvements. I can't see where what he's got now would become unstuck. Like there isn't one league where all the defenders are as fast as Mbappe. Yeah. Like his skill set can take him anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere. Right. Next there's question. A, there's I a got. few more. Yeah. Do you think Eden Hazard will flop for Real Madrid, or does he need more time to adapt to Spain? He'll be fine. Hazard will be a great player for Real Madrid, but people will consider him a flop because he won't do what Ronaldo has done, which is ridiculous because no one's going to do what Ronaldo did. <laughs> so in, in that case, yes, everyone's going to be a yeah. flop. But no, I'm sure we'll be fine. And the trick question, do you think Manchester United can still win the league despite their current run of form? This, this season? Yeah. <laughs> what? They're like 15 points behind us, oh Christ. I mean, technically points? they can, but... Technically they can. I mean, if they can turn it around and put a good form together, you know, they can push the top six, the top four, but the league, no, no. Unfortunately, it's a two-horse race already. Right, next up, some yeah. quick fires from Mamadoul Hassan. Mm -hmm. Rate the possibilities of these events happening from one to ten. So one, definitely not going to happen. Yeah. Ten will happen. Valverde coaching Barca to the end of the season. Four. I'd go Dude, even what, lower. What, ten is will happen? And ten is he'll definitely coach them. Yeah, the thing the is that I can't see who they would bring in. It's just like... I think they just kick him out because he's crap. Yeah. Nah, maybe Four not. is under... Yeah. Four. Four. Lewandowski winning the golden boot. Eight. Yeah, that's very high. Yeah. Man United qualifying for next season's Europa League. I actually can see that. Seven. Neymar playing the rest of the season without major injuries. <laughs> Zero. Yeah, and that's not even on the scale. You guys, his sister's birthday is in March. What are you yeah. talking about? <laughs> of course he's getting injured. Uh, Mourinho getting a job in the Premier League this season. Oh, I can't see that happen. Oh, I can't mm. see it happen. Sounds like you're a right five down the middle. A five? Yeah, all right. Uh, Bundesliga win, wow. Oh, Bundesliga won by another team, not Bayern or Dortmund. I give that a seven and it's frightening me. Gladbach? Leipzig. Leipzig, yeah. Uh, yeah, we did say that earlier on. But you know what I, what I think is that Leipzig is, at the moment, overtaken Bayern 
with like double their speed and they're going to be far ahead of them within two and years. And they're at a phenomenal uh, age, the whole squad. Yeah, that's the thing. Every age is like 23 or 24. You, you, you look at the team and just, you just think, okay, if that team sticks together the way it is, plus some of the players that play for Salzburg. Yeah. The other RB team, like a certain man called Haaland. We'll get um, on to him in a minute, actually. Who's, yeah. Who <laughs> could easily go there and mm. would be the cheapest for them to get. And then look at the Bayern squad and you think, what team will be better in five years? That's not even a question. Like, it's not yeah, even close. This is true. Unless Bayern just try and take all of Leipzig. Could I? Well, but they don't need it. Yeah. Leipzig doesn't need money. All mm. right. Um, Chibo is a DK. Do you think Rodrigo is a suitable replacement for Bale if he leaves in January or Real Madrid should acquire Mbappé? Real Madrid aren't going to buy Mbappé in January. Um, there's talk about next summer. We don't know. Maybe even the summer after. Yeah. Um, as for replacing Bale, Replacing what exactly? Bale's not in the team. <laughs> like, there's nothing to replace. Yeah, salary Rodrigo wise. would take that. <laughs> I see there were so many of you actually wrote questions about Rodrigo. Like, did you see the game? Like, hat trick against Galatasaray. Is he the man? Next Ronaldo. Calm down, guys. <laughs> like, <laughs> one performance, the last thing he needs. And not the last thing he needs, the last thing that any fan needs to get overhyped over Rodrigo. Like, it's a crazy. brilliant performance. It's crazy. But to be like, Good job, kid. You're the next Ronaldo. Have fun. That works push him out br there. brilliantly for young players. They yeah. love when that happens. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we were speaking, he did kind of end Vinicius. It's so bad. Yeah. Vinicius is 20, 19 and he's 18. Oh, what's the deal here? 19 like, and 20. He's 19, but like Vinicius, there's a kid one year younger. And that'll so always be bad. the case. And everyone's like, ah, forget about you, 19-year-old Vinicius. We got 18-year-old Rodrigo. Or 20-year-old, like, that's so harsh. Oh, God. But their future does look bright. Yeah, yes, it does yes. look very good. Right, Young Sharma up next. What is Nico's second and third favorite Premier League club? Now, forgive me if I'm wrong, you have said before your first is Arsenal. Uh, I, I was going to ask, what did I say is my first team? It, it's likely that I said Arsenal. Yeah. Very likely. But um, I said it oftentimes before on a German channel, outside of Germany, I more or less pick the teams on a daily basis. Oh, okay. It's yeah. not really that I have a team where like that is my team. You enjoy some players yeah. that move in. Yeah, I do. Yeah. So whenever I say something like that, it's recency bias. I think as I was saying, yeah. it's like at the moment I really enjoy what Chelsea does. I like yeah. I, I like like what they do. I don't like the fan culture and the mm. surroundings. I like the, like what hap what's happening on the pitch, um, and. I mean, I like Tottenham because of you, and then I'll have Arsenal and Tottenham in the top three. How about that? Ah. Only a German can do that. Um, but Being friendly support. Yeah, it's like, it's not, they are, they are, let's put it this way, there are very few teams that I really dislike. Mm. Yeah. Basically, in the Premier League, everybody hates everybody else in the top I, six. Yeah, I know. And then as soon as you go outside the top six, everyone's best of friends. <laughs> like, you ask any Premier League fan, their second favourite team will be Leicester. Uh -huh. Because they're like, oh, Leicester are so nice and unthreatening. Until they're they, threatening. <laughs> until they take somebody's spot. Like, like if 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 Arsenal finish seventh at the expense of Leicester, they would hate Leicester. No more Arsenal fans who like Leicester. They and the are, same thing with United second or Tottenham. Second at the moment, they want Leicester. Second or third? Third. 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 But third. like, yeah, everyone's like, oh, Leicester's so nice. Nice players like the club. It's because they're not a threat in the top six. Of course. No one says that about like Spurs or City or Liverpool. Everyone it's, hates each other. It's, it's it's the same in every league, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Whenever a team comes. Up, you're like at the, at the beginning you're like oh it's nice it's to a watch cute them. little team yeah it's on oh, they play a good football and like two years later and they're competing for a title or something like actually they suck yeah like, i never like hate them. those guys <laughs> yeah Rogers is always a dick uh, shine you, you banana since since Shinch. since Jaden sancho is a chelsea fan could he replace eden hazard in the summer also william is over 30 and they soon need a right wing anyway Apparently, oh, I don't know if Sancho's a Chelsea fan. I don't there know. There was either. a few rumors about it. He is from close by, um, and yeah, there was good friends with Cam Hudson the door. He also playing at Chelsea. Um, no, the Hazard replacement is Christian Pulisic. I said this in January when people were like, <laughs> "No, we signed Pulisic to play on the other wing. We're definitely <laughs> keeping Hazard. He's definitely not going to Real." And yeah, I was like, "Come was, on, guys. These guys were blindfolded." Come anyway. on, you, you guys are blind. <laughs> Pulisic was and always has been the Hazard replacement since January because they knew they were going to send to Real Madrid. A front three of Pulisic, Hudson, Odoi and Abraham is brilliant, is young and can last the next five, six years. Is there a need for Sancho? Every team can need Sancho. Potentially, can yes, Sancho. but I don't think to the extent they pay over 100 million. Yeah. If Sancho was available for 30, 40 million, it could be a good squad player. Not squad player, but someone who'd push the others, you know, and they'd get a fair share of Premier League Champions League time, yes. 
But to pay 100 million for someone is going to have to be a starter, which then stops the progression of Hudson Odoi and Pulisic. And yeah. I'm not sure that Lampard will be too happy with that. Or the I Chelsea mean, players. even though Sancho is younger than both of them. There's the same age as Hudson Odoi. No, but he's, he is younger. Really? Yes. Like a few months, but younger, I'm pretty okay, sure. Okay, okay, in the same generation of sure. players, yeah. But it's not, like, it's, it's not really fair to say. Like, yeah, exactly, is, yeah. I mean, you are stopping your development. Like, technically, so Rodrigo has stunted Vinicius's career <laughs> already. It's done. It's done. Vinicius is like an old man who can't get back in the team. But Callum Hudson Day and Jane mm. Sancho together, which could be the future could of England on the wings too, is a yeah. nice, nice yeah. little idea. And William is over 30 and is getting a bit older. Oh. Uh, next up, Novamax H. Erling Haaland is in good form right now. Should he try his luck joining a big club in Europe? I know a few of our German viewers yeah. watch this video as well. Please go back to the German Q&A and put this answer in the comments because I now have a better answer to the question that I answered an hour ago in the German <laughs> Q&A. <'Cause, laughs> so, he's not going to go anywhere besides uh, Leipzig. That is the next. That's the next stop on the Red Bull career. Do you reckon it's agreed, or they're just like it makes sense? It's like I don't even think they have a saying over there. It's like it's like yep, you play for Red Bull. Do they Bull even now. have to switch money, or is it going to the same bank account? They, they do switch. But in the end, it does stay in the company. They all they're, they're connected so close together. Like, yeah. and I guarantee you guys, I guarantee it. His next team will be uh, Leipzig. Is he good enough for Leipzig? I think he is. I think he... On the other, on the other side, we've seen like four matches in the Champions League. Mm. So that's all. That's, that's a sample if size. Werner if Werner leaves, if Werner leaves, massive. I, I, don't, I, I actually even think that they could play together. Yeah, true. Like, Ver, even, rather Werner and Haaland. And, well, actually, Paulson's great too. But I think that Werner is on his way mm. out anyways. I think that's his last season for him. Yeah. And then I guarantee it, I'm pretty sure he's going to go uh, Leipzig. I would like to see Haaland make another step. Oh, I just hit my mic. Yeah. Um, I would like to see Haaland make another step to where he's going to play football and not go the Luka Jovic route, and, which and, is and, just but, turn and, up. And Leipzig, Leipzig is a way is, better yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's, that's the worst part about Leipzig, which is a good thing. You know what yeah, I mean? I hate how good a fit they are. I yeah. hate how good they, they work. That's my thing. Yeah. I hate that they're doing their job absolutely on point since years. I fucking yeah. hate it so much. <laughs> This is, it's annoying because look. Tell I, me what's really on your mind. <laughs> no, man. The thing is, I I hate them for everything they've done there. They they build up this thing which is not a football club, and in Germany it's a bigger topic than it is outside of Germany. Yeah. And they they just came running into the Bundesliga and they're now competing for a title. But if you take that away and just look at what they're doing outside of this, they're probably doing the best work in the in, in Germany, like football wise. And that sucks. All right. <laughs> Uh, Rakwa Talba, Rakhav Talba. Do you think Messi is actually getting frustrated and there may be a possibility of him leaving if Ernesto Averde continues with his rubbish tactics? No. I'm pretty sure if Messi turned around to Barcelona and was like, I want to leave, it's me or Valverde, they'd probably get rid of Valverde first. In, in <laughs> like they, they, a billion be like, times out Messi of a Messi says that and the president is pulling a gun. <laughs> yeah. Valverde. Yeah, I choose Valverde. Yeah. Uh, funnily enough, I actually had some stories that Messi is a big Valverde fan. He's got his back, and this well, is then he why stays for the rest of the season. This is why Valverde has lasted so long because Messi, you know, he's, he's, like he, he's on Messi's good side basically. Yeah. Which again what comes side back we, to player what side power. Would we be on Messi's good side, or would he like us? Hmm. I kind of feel like he only respects people that are brilliant with the ball, so I'm out. Yeah, no, I'm probably a bit too brutish for him. He'd call my style of play ugly in English. <laughs> <laughs> like, just whacking it along and just... Leo Messi hates yeah. more football yeah. hosts. <laughs> Guys, there's a story for you. Um, right, next up, Najil Hussein. Which competition should Liverpool um, prioritise? Carabao Cup or Club World Cup? When they play two matches in the space of 24 hours. Uh, it would, I would 100% go for Carabao Cup if it wasn't for the ridiculous name of it. Oh, really? I still go for Carabao Cup. Oh, I'd, I'd go The Club World Cup, is, for me, is worth nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, it's worth nothing, yeah. but as Klopp pointed out, like, you don't get to play it every year. It's kind of different. Okay. Yeah, you're right. But, you're right. But no, the, Club World Cup it is, but it's still not but, a good Yeah, I know. The, the, Car the Carabao Cup, like, Man City won it back to back, and it did give them a massive boost of confidence because it's mid-season. Mm. Because the finals at the end of February, you get that winning feeling. And you already... And, you and it like, like, charges from, you up for the end. Yeah, you're dead to eat afterwards. You yeah. Want, you want more titles. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're watching okay. too much. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the, the whole thing in the space of 24 hours is going to be so overdone, it's going to kill me. 
Armand Giri, who will win if Nico and Matt box? Just look at our arms. Put our arms. <laughs> What do you think <laughs> I would win? Great. I feel like I'd be a bigger hitter. Yeah, absolutely. With more reach because I'm I, taller. I have a good. I, you good can movement. nip around me. Yeah, though. but I get tired and then you just <laughs> knock me out. Uh, I'd lose, man. If I don't. I need a lucky punch first round, first yeah, throw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One throw after the bell and that's it. And if not, I'm running. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> See you guys later. That's what I do. That we should be on the on the card. The yeah. Logan Paul KSI. I mean, on the car. I mean, get us in, guys. It's when? Tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is tomorrow. Might be. I need to go to training camp. Yeah, <laughs> training camp for one day. Right. Thank you so much. Anyway, for all of your questions, as always, Wednesday night in the community tab on YouTube is where you can leave all of them for the next Friday, um, where myself and Nico will probably be here. If Paddy ever decides to return, you never know. You where is he? I think for like you're backed by popular demand. We'll see ah. you guys next week anyway. Love you guys. Best. Best one football audience next to after the Germans. Sorry. <laughs>